this fall. I am not giving the city over to Penguin. Gotham moves to Thursday. I can make a difference, Alfred. I know I can. Gotham needs more people who are willing to fight for her. There is a time for masks, and there is a time for Bruce Wayne. I do the dirty work. Allow me to clean this city up. It's dangerous. You are engaging villains. I feel more alive than I've ever felt before. Gotham season premiere Thursday, September 21st on Fox. All right, Bruce Wayne stepping it up for Gotham, finally. I see you in that I'm not a superhero, sometimes I might break into an apartment mask. And here he is on the rooftop again, just like at the end of last season where he's on the rooftop and it was all crazy, there was thunder in the background, it was amazing. If you voiced it over properly, it was great. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. But yeah, he's back on the roof and you know what? I'm happy for him. I really am happy for him. But the one thing you can tell from this promo is that there's going to be a lot of rooftop scenes. I mean, look at the amount of rooftop scenes we have in 30 seconds. It's crazy. What, four, five rooftop scenes? It's crazy. What I love is the early age that they have Bruce Wayne putting on the mask. Or, you know, the mask. I mean, you can't see my fingers, but quotation marks, the mask. And this really reminded me of two things. One, it reminded me of Batman Year One, which is a comic book series that showed Bruce Wayne in the early years of Batman. Well... In the first year of Batman, it's obvious, it's in the title. And he was 25 in that series. He comes back from training, martial arts, honing his detective skills, his science skills. And he was 25 when he decides to come back and work and try to make Gotham better. And here he's just a kid. So the fact that they're doing this way early just in his youth is, I kind of like it. Also, what I like about how kind of, well, I mean, he's a billionaire, but still, the mask is kind of cheap with just the black clothing. It reminded me of the Batman Begins series which, again, was slightly based off of the Batman Year One comic. So if you think I'm bashing on the fact that he doesn't have the suit, and oh my god, he looks ridiculous. I mean, it does look ridiculous, but you know what? It's still cool. It's still great that he's going to suit up in some way to try and help Gotham. And Christian Bale made it work in Batman Begins. I mean, you know, different budget and shit like that, but it's still going to be good. He wasn't always as awesome as he is now. But other than the large amount of Bruce Wayne we get in this promo, Penguin is taking control of Gotham again. And this time he's doing it because he has all those metahumans. And I know they don't call them metahumans in the show. They're the Indian Hill freaks or just freaks or, I mean, whatever you want to call them, monsters, whatever. They're they're people with superpowers. And he's taking back control of Gotham because, of course, if you remember last season, sort of a spoiler, please don't be angry, Barbara died or, I, I mean, you can't see my fingers, but died. You, you know people don't die in this show. But he's going to be taking control of Gotham, and he's going to be doing it all from the Iceberg Lounge. If you know the comic books, you know the Iceberg Lounge is pretty much where, when he's established as the Penguin, that's where he runs his criminal empire out of. And it is very Penguin-themed. It's freaking icebergs. It's cold as shit. Mr. Freeze would love it. And we're finally going to get to see that. So they're moving really fast with this show. Then we have returning characters, Victor Zaz. I personally love Victor Zaz. He is like one of my favorite characters on this show. I would easily say top five in this entire show. We also have Scarecrow who's going to be coming back. Remember, he was in season one. And now it looks like he's going to be adopting the Scarecrow persona. He's in the mask. And personally, I'm scared about what the Scarecrow is going to be doing. He looks really great here. He looks terrifying. It reminded me of the Injustice 2 version of Scarecrow. If you've seen it, if you haven't, you've seen it now. So I'm really hoping they do that character justice. I'm hoping that he shows up in more than just one episode. And we have Poison Ivy coming back. I mean, it's Poison Ivy's okay. Poison Ivy's cool. I thought it was an interesting twist how they did the whole age jump thing. But then at the same time, I was like, eh, whatever. Just mm. Then we get someone who people are going to love if you are Catwoman fans or comic book fans. Just Cat is back. She is in this alley. She's kicking ass. She's going to learn to be a better fighter. I didn't see the whip, but she's going to have the whip because if you guys remember from the end of last season, she got the whip. And when I saw that, I was, oh my God, I was so happy. Yes. So Tabitha is going to be training her how to be better. Tabitha, also, if you guys didn't know, is supposed to be Tigress. So if, you know, you've read the comics, you know who Tigress is. If you've seen Young Justice, you know that Tigress is the person that Artemis pretended to be. Then at the end of the promo, we get something and I just, I laughed at it. I really did. I laughed. I'm not going to lie. I laughed a little bit. I laughed a little too much. He puts on the new mask. It doesn't look like, you know, the burglar mask. One, it reminded me of Batman Begins where Christian Bale is running around in like a prototype suit. Two, it reminded me of John Diggle on Arrow. I just, come on, don't, don't lie. 
And three, I laughed super hard, and I feel bad for doing that because it reminded me of the Juggernaut. I don't know why, but it remind just I I just busted out laughing when I saw it because it. This is all I can think of. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Don't be mean to Bruce Wayne. He's a billionaire. He'll get over it. But I really hope you guys caught it because it wasn't something that was hard to miss. But if you did, it's fine. When the promo ends and they do the title shooting out, you see the Riddler sign right there in the background on one of the buildings. And obviously, the Riddler is going to be back. We know that he's frozen. He's going to be in Penguin's Iceberg Lounge. I'm glad we're going to see more Riddler stuff. And this looks like he could be important in this series. But other than the Riddler in the end title, we also got the name of it, Gotham the Dark Knight. And I mean, yeah, like I said, they're really speeding this. I mean, they're going so fast and they're making it good. I'm not saying that there haven't been bumps in the road, there haven't been weird things, stuff that probably shouldn't have happened, but you know what? They're handling it really, really well. And it makes sense that it would be called Gotham the Dark Knight, because at the end of the last season, Ra's al Ghul was talking about the Dark Knight, but he wasn't saying the Dark Knight, but he pretty much said the Dark Knight. He literally said the Dark Knight, and he just moved around the words. It's like when your teacher says, hey, don't copy straight from the book, and then you just move the words around. An air to serve as my knight in the darkness. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this promo. Let me know what you guys want to see in the series, what you're expecting, what you're excited about. You guys know that that mask looked juggernauty. Don't even lie to yourselves, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bruce, take us out. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Goodbye.